Malo and welcome to Season 3, Episode 36 of Breakfast Bites by Tevovosports.com, a wrap of Pacifica People Sports on another beautiful blue sky Saturday morning, 5th November 2022. Coming to you from Paradise on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. P-A-P-A, go Paparani! Thank you, Tulia. In Rugby Union, scores from the Cafe Pacific HSBC Hong Kong Sevens last night. Samoa thrashed the All Black Sevens 24 nil. France 34 nil over not so great Britain. Ireland 28 12 over Kenya. And Argentina 36 nil over Canada. And Fiji Wallop Japan 59 12. Certainly a changing of the guard in, uh, in Rugby Sevens and great to see the Cathay Pacific. HSBC Hong Kong Sevens back on uh, on on again. Games start today at 3 p.m. with Fiji versus Spain at 4:15 p.m. and Samoa take on Australia at 6 p.m. Also on tomorrow morning in the World Rugby Euro uh, Autumn Internationals at midnight Fiji time, Scotland take on host Fiji. 1 a.m. Italy versus Samoa. 3 a.m. Wales versus New Zealand, 5:30 a.m. Ireland versus South Africa, and at 8 a.m. France take on Australia in Paris. In rugby league, rising Papua New Guinea Kumul star Jimmy Nutlik is keen on moving up to play in the UK after his dazzling performances so far, especially in their win over Wales. Hopefully against England in the last eight. The 22-year-old will be able to prove himself against some of the best in the world. And Matema Tonga head coach Christian Wolf says they're just getting started as they face Toa Samoa in the big clash of the Rugby League World Cup quarterfinals this weekend. A win there will likely pit them against England, a country which uh, Wolf has dominated and conquered domestically with uh, for three successive years with St. Helens. And in football, FIFA has urged all 32 teams preparing for the World Cup to focus on the game. Avoid hang- handing out lessons in morality and let football take center stage. Qatar as FIFA World Cup host is facing scrutiny for its treatment of low-paid migrant workers needed to build the projects costing tens of billions of dollars for the World Cup and its laws criminalizing same-sex relationships. Eight European teams have committed to their captains wearing heart-shaped armbands in breach of FIFA rules to support an uh, anti-discrimination campaign. Australian players took part in a video airing concerns about Qatar's human rights record. Several coaches and federations, including the United States, have backed calls to create a compensation fund for migrant workers' families of those who died during construction. Denmark's squad is taking a black team jersey as a sign of mourning for those who died in Qatar. I actually agree with FIFA on this one for a change. The team should just focus on football. Um, I mean, everyone has skeleton in their cupboards. For, for TevovoSports.com, I'm Kaldan Kamir. Mahalo, vina'a and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica Sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all to us for all your love and support. P-A-P-A, go Paparani! Thank you, Tulia.